So Aubrey and Max, please, please come on up. Oh, come on. Remember to, remember to hold it up to your mouth. Okay. Hi, I'm Aubrey. This is my husband, Max. So I work in staffing. Um, and Max? And I'm an engineer in gas and oil industry. So we have two under two, and you can see them behind us. No, you can't, over there. Um, at our, one of our rental properties that we made them uh, come to. So, so tell us a little bit about your, just give some context on, on your background and what you guys do and why Lifestyles. Um, so my dad actually joined Lifestyles in 2009. Um, and I went to the Financial Freedom Seminar in 2009 when I was a teenager. And I remember looking at Dell thinking he was insane. Um, I was not interested. I think my dad bribed me with a smoothie to go or something. That's usually how you can get me to go to stuff. Um, I got my first corporate job in 2019, and I hated it. My dad sat on the sofa and collected checks. I was like, wait, hold on. What do you mean you're sitting on the sofa collecting checks? He told me, well, I joined Lifestyles, and I invested in multifamily properties, and now they send me checks every every month. It's like, okay, that's exactly what I want to do. Um, so as a wedding gift, I asked my dad to buy me and my husband a Lifestyles membership. The, 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 coolest, the coolest gift I've heard of in a while. So that's awesome. So let's go ahead and get in, in the interest of time, let's go ahead and get into the property. This was your second property, right? Yes. So she's got four properties uh, total, when, and we'll get into that here in a second. But this particular property is her second property. And by design, it was a light rehab. You, you were looking for a light rehab, right? Yes, this is really what we were looking for. It was just really minimal um, and in a great location. Yeah, and so you can see from the pictures, it's, it's nothing crazy. Um, you know, they cleaned up the bathtub, did some paint, updated some vanities, cleaned the carpet, maybe replaced the carpet. Yeah, I think, I don't know, I think we just replaced it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but de definitely one of the lighter rehabs. So when you look at, when you look at all the deals that, that we've done over the last, I don't know, year or so, um, they, they range anywhere from, on the low end, 20,000 to 80,000. And it, it's really important to lean on your mentorship and make sure that that rehab matches your journey. And when you're beginning, you don't want to take on those complex, bigger rehabs. So let's go ahead and get into the numbers. There's, there's some good stories behind here. So, so the after repair value was 155,000, the purchase price was 99, the rehab was 27.6, and we'll revisit that here in a second. Mm -hmm. Other costs, that's lender, title fees, appraisal, there were two closings. Uh, so that leaves you with an equity capture of a little over $15,000. Your overall cash out of pocket was around 31, rent 1350, cash flow 206 a month. That's a 8% cash on cash return and a 47% return on capital for a second property. That is a solid deal. But let's talk about something for a second. That 49%, th this number, the cash out of pocket Tell us a little bit about the, the rehab and the foundation work. Okay, so Lifestyles tells you to make sure you do every single thing that's on the bid because the appraiser is going to look at the bid and make sure that you've completed it. So I didn't really think about it and just sent the, the lender two of the bids. One was for the general contractor, one was for the foundation. The foundation did not really need to be repaired, so I didn't think to get it repaired. However, because I had sent them the foundation bid, I had to actually fix it, so it made my cash out of pocket a lot higher. So what, it was a $7,000 lesson, so if you, if you subtract 7,000 from this and add 7,000 to the equity capture, because that would be the result, instead of 49% cap, it would be more like a 94% return on capital. So, so for those, who, let's get the people that are, uh, sorry, the people that are out not from Houston, you're watching this. What you need to understand is in Houston, Texas, we are living on a swamp. There's only two types of foundations, those that have moved and those that will move at some time in the future. 
So when you talk about the fact that they had an inspection for foundation, the inspection didn't say they needed foundation repair. It just said that, you know, it could use foundation repair if you wanted it to. Well, if she hadn't sent in that document, the, the finance company wouldn't have required her to get the, the, the work done. You follow me? Now, that, that doesn't mean that it had to have, it needed the work. Many of these deals sit for years and don't have a problem with that. So we just wanted you to understand, this one became a base hit when it could have been a home run. You follow me? But it's still, and I want to see this, it's still a base hit for these guys because they're still making 8% on the cash on cash. Our savings accounts are only getting five, right? And what was the capital gain on this thing? It was pretty high. 49%. 49% capital gain as opposed to, might have been 100, but still 49 is better than what have you gotten lately from your 401k, right? All right, let's give them a hand on this deal. It's a good deal. Let's move it along. We got to go. Uh, let's go to the next deal for them. Let's go. This is their totals. This is all of their deals together. What we have to tell you is I put this together because I wanted to have a lot of stuff to talk to you about because I want you to get the idea. They have done two deals. Those deals, they made 36,000 equity on the first deal, 15,000 equity on the second deal. But they've got two more right now, one of which that is in rehab mm -hmm. and the other one's in contract. Yes. So my point, the reason I brought all these up here that we know what they're going to end up being. Do you follow me? They're going to be incredible. They're going to end up making 46 on one and 49 on the other, and they're not going to send in any more reports they don't need to send in. <laughs> <laughs> but the reality I wanted you to see is you're saying to yourself, but can you do that today and in these interest rates? And the answer is? Yes, you can. There it is. Give them a hand. All right, we got, we got to cut you off at all the personal stuff, except we do want to hear the one thing. What is your long-term goal here? Um, so um, our long-term goals, we want to uh, own a small multifamily and become an IRO. So hopefully in a couple of years, we'll be able to achieve that. All right. Now you know I'm a crazy man. <laughs> So we would like to do a cash, uh, 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 just a shout out to the realtors real quick. All right. All right. So Moon Kim. Got our marketing in here, sorry. <laughs> so Moon Kim, he was the realtor on this, on this end. Mm -hmm. And uh, Moon Kim, yeah. is, there's a great story with him. Number one in all of Houston with 50,000 real, realtors. He comes in number one last two years. He's, you know, it, it, it's, it's a... It's, you know, some people refer to him as Sasquatch because they've, they've never really seen him, but they've heard stories. So, you know, take full advantage. Take a look. You, you know, you, there is a sighting. So, anyway, Hind Washington was the mentor, and then, of course, our, our vendors that, that helped out. So, thank you so much. Yeah, thank and, you. All right. Thank you.